really just need it. is the headlight wires and then here we go when you get stuff out of your way when you get stuff out of your way Get stuff out of your way, it's easier to work on. See, that's why I want to take the fenders off the wash it because it allows you to really get in there. So, I'll show you. Right here. Is where those bolts broke off in there as you can see on both sides which ain't a real big deal because i can buy this whole bar right here and the bolts it's not a real big problem if i can't get them out i don't even really want to bother with tight as long as i can get these ones off Right here won't be much of an issue. But yeah, here's your brake lines. Right all the way up to the brake lever here. Here, down through your brakes. But what I'm really did this for initially is so I can get in to here. To get this off for the exhaust. Oh. See how that looks there. Trying to make it clear. I don't know, it won't focus. Anyways, that's what I gotta try to get out without breaking and shearing them ones. So we're gonna try to try to figure out that. But uh, as you probably can see, it gives you a lot better access in there instead of the frustration. You know, the the frame and stuff like that. That's you know those bolts and those components are more easily fixable. You know, it's not as critical, but you don't want you don't want to mess up that and have to take the cylinder head off. Or cylinder um, if something goes wrong here you want to try to avoid that which is why I'm trying to avoid taking the, the cylinder off to fix the cam chain and tensioner uh, so I'm trying to eliminate it or see if that's the issue first and then if that's not um, if this doesn't fix it with the then I'll know I need to replace the cam chain which I can do it I just you know didn't want to place the cam chain and tensioner and then the exhaust. But uh, I'll have to take the exhaust back off. But, uh, yeah, so uh, I think the rest of it will be all right. Um, I think. Because that's the size of the uh, exhaust and you just got a hole uh, here but this is the actual component number right here 970 HMH0 or C5 C5 uh, 970 Honda Nelson anyways so that's that and as you can probably see here you know this needs replaced but uh, I think I can maybe get the exhaust come in from the back and get the manifold through here. You know, 
this ain't a rent, you know. I should be able to get the manifold through here somehow. Uh, I need to buy the, the the rivets or push pins or whatever you call these things. I forgot for the uh, for the fenders. I'll do that later. But uh, you know, but yeah, I need to wash it, spray it down. I mean. <laughs> it ain't been cleaned in a while. Where's it used on the farm? I mean, but this is another thing. Let's see where that slacks at. <laughs> Sounds like it's over there on the on the driver's side. Let's see. Well, it's not that big of a problem right now. That's not the priority, but I'll need to order this part here, some bolts. Uh, but, uh, it's not a real big issue. I don't think it's that much, just that cross member piece here. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it was just easier for me to leave the brush guard on because inside, these, these bolts here, I couldn't get them to come out. It's that simple. They just wouldn't come out. You know, and so I'm just going to leave it like that. I need to, in one of my purchases, I'll probably just purchase a bunch of these body panel bolts and pins and push pins or whatever. I got a tool for that. So. That's, you know, that's minor stuff, but the main, the main thing here is, uh, the engine, so, well, I got it apart, whoops, I got it, whoop, sorry, I got it apart, so, uh, that's pretty much all I need to do. I thought maybe I'd remove this one, but I don't think it's necessary. But, uh, so, you know, um, I need to diagnose how I'm going to get that out without any issues. Put some liquor, liquid wrench on it, let it sit for 24 hours or something. We'll see. Uh, see, there's your stud. There's a stud right there. It's an eight millimeter. There's another one underneath here. I'll order two of them. And then your gasket goes back behind here. But all this needs to be properly clean. You don't want nothing getting inside, obviously. But, uh, so, yeah. Um, we'll, uh, we'll get to it. And uh, I'll pick up my tools here, here and what have you. Oh, I gotta try to hold this camera. But you know, that's that's the that's the update. Work on the exhaust. Uh, install the carburetor. Gotta put this back together. I'll go ahead and get this part ordered. It's not not a big issue. I could tap it out. I just don't have a tap set. I don't think. But I'm gonna get one later. Well, uh, that'll conclude it for this episode of On the Ground. Maybe next time we'll be installing it and see what kind of issues we run into. But uh, I'll see you again here next time on On the Ground.